Hello guys, welcome to the Gothenburg city tour. As you see, the autumn is truly beautiful in this city. Yesterday I was visiting a football match here. Now it's time to explore the city itself. Gothenburg is located in the southwestern part of Sweden, about 500 kilometers from the capital Stockholm and 300 from Malmö. It's the second biggest city of Sweden with a population of approximately 580,000 people. Our first destination is Slottskogen, a park located in the southwestern part of Gothenburg. It was opened in 1874 and it has a free zoo in it. While walking uphill we already see the Natural History Museum of Gothenburg. This is the entrance of the Natural History Museum. The park's name Slotskogen means castle forest in English by the way. This is Slotskogen's labyrinth. I hope I don't get lost in it. Okay, there are some muddy parts so I don't think I'll try it. But it's nice. This is Lilla Dammen, a lake inside a park. Looks like I have some guests. Another lake, a bigger one. It's Stora Dammen, and actually Stora Dammen means big lake and Lilla Dammen means small lake, so it's not really difficult. Originally, I'm vlogging about association football, so I just had to come down to the southwestern part of the park to visit a local small stadium. So this is Slotskogsvalla, meaning the castle forest field. It was built in, in 1923 and it has a capacity of 8,480 spectators. I doubt I saw a swing of this size before. Woo, it's great. Great feeling being six years old again. I like this minimalist typical Scandinavian houses. This is the local botanical garden. Really nice and clean. A view from the other side for you. This monumental church is called Annedas Hirkan. For a church, it's considered as young. On we go to Skansen Kronan, a hillside fortress. Today, it's a conference center. Curious undersea wall painting in the way. A bit of architecture for you, including one of the university buildings. Okay, this is much nicer than the one next to it. This is not bad either. Arrived at Skansen Kronan, a conference center today and used for weddings as well. A breathtaking view of the city from here. Likewise from this side. Some other pictures of the door and of the other side for you. This is Linnegatan with some other great architecture. This is Haga Bion, a movie theater with some Harry Potter flags. Although the colors of Ravenclaw and Slytherin are perhaps mixed up, as I see. Next stop, Port of Gothenburg, ladies and gentlemen. On my way to the port, I bumped into some office buildings under construction. Well, this one's slightly nicer. It's probably gonna be finished when you come here. Here we are at the Port of Gothenburg. As I see, the access is quite limited though. Have a look at the ship, if we come. A better view at the ship. This is the Bay of Gothenburg in the sunset. It's uh, an industrial quarter. Bay sidewalk. Next up is a historical landmark. So much space here behind me. Not the most beautiful but curious buildings. Arrived at Stan Puren travel stop. This building is a travel office and we are really close to our landmark, the site we are up to visit. The Delaware Monument just in front of us.
so in the memory of the first Swedish settlement on American soil. Don't gamble, just watch the nice casino buildings from outside. That's what you're gonna do now. And another wall painting here. And here is our next side casino Cosmopol. It's a working one. This is Maritiman. You probably guessed from the name already that it's a maritime museum. I like it pretty much, by the way, that history is preserved here. It's great stuff. Kronhusgatan, Crown House Street in English. Our next site is the Crown House. Arrived in the old town. This is Kronhuse, Crown House. Crown House is in the function, guys. I just read next to the front door. It was an artillery warehouse, so <laughs> quite different. The City Museum of Gothenburg from outside. On the other side of the canal, I found the old trade bank building. Tiska Kirkan or German church. You won't believe it, but I'm trying to go inside now. Quite unexpected, right? Because so far I've done everything from outside only. Access denied, it's closed. At least it was worth walking around. I found this view of the tower. Floating Swedish flag on the canal. I don't know whether there are only iron pieces or some flowers on it, but it's interesting. It's quite dark now, one of the last sites today, the Cathedral of Gothenburg. Backside. There is some dancing even in a tent behind me. So with some questionable music in the background, the Cathedral of Gothenburg. just walking in a not so cheap shopping street. The cathedral was our last site for today. Tomorrow we continue. Good night. Morning guys, it's a bit foggy today but that's not gonna stop us from carrying on exploring the city. Our first stop today is the Oscar Frederick Church. Opened on Easter Sunday, 1893. The style of this church is neo-Gothic. From here, we are treated to the best view of the church. Sadly, it is closed today, so I can't show it to you from inside. But next up, another church, the Mastug Church. Mastuk Church, guys, built in 1914 in a Nordic National Romantic style. Can we have a nice viewpoint on the city from here? The bridge in the background, which we are going to visit today, later on. So foggy weather, but still a really beautiful view on the city. Nice calm area with some birds, some graffitis on an old building. I'm not an expert in architecture, but this is unique Nordic for me. What do you think? Located on a rock hill, another church, the Karl Johans Parish. Started with quite some religious knowledge today. Next up is the Ruda Sten Art Gallery and the Elfsborg Bridge. Approaching the Elfsborgs Brun or Elfsborg Bridge, which connects the northern and the southern part of Gothenburg. It's really monumental. This is a hotel in the background, it's called Waterfront. Nice building as well. Here we are at the Dustin Kunsthalle, an English art gallery. What a vibe! 
let's walk around it. When it comes to art, even the garbages are being taken care of. Cafe and restaurant on this side and the monumental bridge in the background. We are in the very western part of Gothenburg. Not much left here except some industrial buildings on the other side. So time to go to the downtown again to visit the opera house. The bridge in the background we are at Stiem Pur and by the way there's the Delaware monument we visited yesterday and some big greens on the other side on our way to the opera house. A bigger view on Maritiman, the ship museum we visited yesterday in the dark. Gothenburg Opera House here. From the side is some of the most beautiful postmodernist architectural style. This was opened in 1994. Gothenburg is a city of the least souvenir shops, but finally I found one, so let's go inside. So really as a typical tourist I bought two fridge magnets, one with the city and one with the Scandinavian flags on it. I've been to Norway and this is my second time in Sweden, but Finland, Denmark and Iceland is still to go. We are in Gustav Adolf Square now with the statue of Gustav Adolf, the king of Sweden, in the background. Gustav II Adolf is credited with the rise of Sweden's European power. He was king from 1611. This is Bruins Park in the central square of Gothenburg. Tram stops on both sides and on both sides these streets are the oldest of Gothenburg. Also entrance to a big shopping center Nordstan. This is the entrance of our next site, the Gothenburg Horticultural Society. The autumn is really beautiful here and everything's really clean. This is what I like about Scandinavia especially. Greenhouse here. Let's go upstairs and have a look from there. The Garden Society of Gothenburg was founded in 1842 by King Charles the 14th John. Various types of herbs here of course. Exiting the Garden Society now and approaching a football stadium of the most famous club of Gothenburg, IFK Gothenburg. Arrived at the football stadium, capacity of 18,416 people. This is the name of the stadium Gamla Ullevi. It was opened in 2009. The club, as I said, playing here is IFK Gothenburg with the nickname Blow Wit, which means the blue white. I attended a match here two days ago, so I'm just gonna paste some view of the inside of the stadium. It's actually a crazy atmosphere, so I recommend it, especially if you're a football fan. But if you're not, it's, uh, it's still a really good atmosphere to enjoy. Building of skyscrapers in progress. Another stadium, Ullevi, home to concerts and some sporting events as well. Built in 1958, capacity of 43,000 people. Sadly, we can't go inside now because they don't organize tours. This was Valhalla Idrutsplatz with a 4,000 capacity uh, lower division, third division game was going on right there. Old tram, what an inside. Just behind me is Scandinavia. This is an indoor arena for several sporting events, ice hockey, horse show, and of course, handball. Classic buildings on the other side, downtown feeling. This is Svenska Messen, a Swedish exhibition and congress center and next to it a four-star hotel with some spectacular view Gofia towers now this is the biggest hotel in the nordic countries amazing just on the other side of the road an amusement park lisa berg let's have a look the entrance is not here it's only a walking street but we got a uh, Nice waterfall still. Next up, Universium and Museum of World Cultures. Universium is a science center and a museum with a rainforest zone. Daward Verdskulturmusse, or something like this in Swedish. 
that means Museum of World Culture. Basic building but nice paint on the ground and on this wall. Universum from the other side, it's being renovated as you see. And this tower, part of the amusement park Lieseberg, is 116 meters high and it's a free fall tower, of course. We've done really great so far today, only a few more sides to go. But before that, let's eat something. Welcome to join me. Really great this sandwich, bought it next to the shopping mall. I just found the Humanist Faculty of the Uni Gothenburg and this one next to me is the University Library. Next to it, Museum of Art and the famous Poseidon statue. Welcome to Gothenburg's Museum of Art. Here you can find some 19th century Nordic art collection. And the famous statue of Poseidon, as I promised. This is Vasa Hirkan, another church. And this is Vasa Parken where we are going to see another university building and this is the main building of the university of gothenburg quite many things are renovated now as i see leaving the park there are two more sides to go the main boulevard of gothenburg and the theater on my way to the boulevard i bumped into the museum of design and craft and on the other side of the road another building which is preserving history here Welcome to Kungsports Avenue, the main boulevard of Gothenburg. Look at it, another tram, which wasn't born yesterday. The name of the street translated to English is Kingsgate Avenue. It's of course full of pubs, bars and restaurants. Oh, there are cultural nights yesterday and today. Good to know. A statue of John Ericsson behind me, the inventor of the propeller and the warship. Stura Theater, or in English, Big Theater. Finished in 1859, this is a musical theater. I thought we were finished here, but the central market hall caught my eye, so let's go inside. Beautiful building. The main entrance of the market looks like this. This was eventually our last site. One thing I regret missing though is the Feskakur at the fish market. That's sadly closed now, but if you're in the city, give it a go to visit maybe it's gonna be open i want to say a big thank you to you all for watching this city tour i hope you enjoyed it and that i could give you some idea when you come to gothenburg for sightseeing if you're interested in the football match vlog i made in the city click on the video appearing on the top right corner thanks again and goodbye <laughs>